Well, welcome to the studio today. I'm working on a new painting. This is a commission and it's a big piece. It's 30 inches by 40 inches. It's a cutting horse. I showed you a picture of the photograph that I'm working from. This is a cutting horse. I did my sketch. It is 16 by 20. But I've got to get it up to this 30 by 40 size. So what I'm going to do, what I did was I took my sketch to Office Depot. Office, well actually it was Office Max. I guess they're all the same thing these days. And I had them take my sketch and make a copy of it 30 inches by 40 inches. So, there's, there's my copy of my sketch, 30 inches by 40 inches. What I'm going to do to transfer this up to my canvas is I will tape it up to a window and scribble the entire back of this copy with, this is called a general sketching pencil. So that's carbon, and what that will do is that will act like carbon paper. And then I can transfer this, that small sketch, up to my 30 by 40 inch canvas. Just one of those little tricks that Jack taught me. So I'll show you that in just a second. Now I've got my copy taped up on my window. Wow, my window is just big enough. So I'm going to take my pencil and I've got, I'm going to do this on the back. So you're seeing a ghost of the image in reverse. But I do this on the back of the painting and I just take my pencil and start, and I do it pretty dark, but I go wherever my image is, because those are the lines I want to be able to trace over when I transfer this to my canvas. So I'll do this over the whole back of the drawing, on all the on all the parts where the, the drawing is. I don't worry about the open areas. But I'm going to do this. I'll do my cow here, and my cattle, and the horse, and, and everything. And I just do those lines. And again, you want it to be pretty dark. But it's just scribbling over that. What we're going to do is make that so that'll be, we can do a carbon transfer of this drawing onto the canvas. Okay, now I've got my sketch taped up on my canvas. I showed you a picture of the back of the drawing or the, the copy, the sketch. I showed you a picture of that with all the scribbling all done. Now I've taped it up on my canvas. I've lined up my posts with a T-square so I know that they're straight and, and plumb. Now I take a ballpoint pen and I just start tracing over my, my, oops, kind of fall back there. Just start tracing over my sketch. And I follow the lines accurately because this is going to be the basis for my drawing on the, on the canvas. This is my plan. Now, once I get this entirely drawn up there, or, or traced over all these lines, then I will remove, remove the sketch and I'll have a lightly penciled up drawing of my, my painting. Let's see. Let's just do this cow head here, and then I'll lift up the sketch so you can see how that transfers over. It'll take me a while to transfer this whole thing, or to do the, yeah, the transfer drawing. But I kind of want to indicate my, my shadow lines in there, get his eye in, his ears. I just 
just trace over the ballpoint pen. The ballpoint is out. Now I'm going to lift up this sketch and see if you'll be able to see this. At the end of the video, I will show the transfer drawing up on the, I guess you can see my head might be in the way. Get his legs in here. Okay, let's untape this. Might be easier said than done. It doesn't matter if that kind of tears my paper a little bit. Lift this up and you should be able to see. See now how my cow head is lightly sketched in there. You can see all the scribbling on the back of the of the copy here. But you can see, and I'd already gone ahead with my T-square and done the fence back in there. But you can see how that cow head is lightly up there. So that's, I'll do the whole thing, and then my sketch will be transferred up onto the canvas. That's how I do a, can transform a small sketch and transfer it up into the larger canvas. Now if this canvas was really, really big, I would have a different method of doing it. But this works perfectly for this 30 by 40 image. So I really appreciate you watching my YouTube videos. Please subscribe to my channel and I also have a blog where I show the complete step-by-step -step process as I paint. The link is in the description below. It's also on the final frame of my YouTube video. So you have an absolutely wonderful day and thank you again for visiting the studio.